Hi, I'm Caitlin. And I'm Adrian. And we are so excited to introduce you to today's virtual coastal classroom topic on nesting sea turtle moms. I'm one of the many loggerhead moms at our organization and we have enjoyed following the virtual coastal classroom videos as a family for the last couple months. Nesting sea turtle moms are so special because each year they make their way to the beach to lay eggs full of baby turtles that will soon hatch. Nesting sea turtle moms, like human moms, are strong, resilient, and follow their inner compass to find their way. We hope you enjoy this video and happy Mother's Day to all our moms tuning in with their families. Happy Mother's Day! Bye! Sea turtles are very resilient animals. That's one thing that's so amazing about them. So even when sea turtles have large injuries, either from uh, fishing entanglements or unintended boat strike injuries, or even from natural predators like sharks, we still find that a lot of these mothers can still successfully nest on our beaches. So we actually have some studies currently going on that are looking at the prevalence of these uh, injuries in our nesting population. So we wanna know uh, how often these different uh, injuries occur on our nesting females. But the good news is, is that a lot of them can still nest even when they have these injuries. So we wanted to highlight one of our turtle moms, Electra. She's a leatherback sea turtle. And we first encountered her in 2002, nesting on our beaches here in Juneau Beach, Florida, uh, right on our beaches outside of Loggerhead Marine Life Center. Uh, she has been nesting since 2002. We actually saw her again this year. Um, earlier this year in 2020. So that's an 18 year history that this mom has been coming back to our beaches and nesting. And the other th cool thing about Electra, she is one of our bigger turtles. So um, her carapace is about five and a half feet long. So she's one of our more impressive moms out there. So Isabella is a leatherback sea turtle. We first encountered her in 2005, nesting on our beaches here. And we've actually seen her uh, about nine times since then. And we've actually seen her four different times this season. So sea turtles, they don't just lay one nest, they actually lay multiple nests. And so we've been able to see Isabella on four of her nests this year already. So we actually encountered a nesting leatherback last night. Her name is Venice. She was first tagged in 2015. And last night we saw her, she actually had a unintended boat strike to the back end of her carapace. And despite those uh, large wounds on her carapace, she was still able to successfully nest last night. So these turtle moms are resilient and uh, they push through anything. Margarita is a green sea turtle and she has a really fun history. So Margarita was initially found stranded with a fishing line wrapped around her left front flipper. And so she was brought to our friends at the Marathon Sea Turtle Hospital down in the Keys and they helped rehabilitate her and actually amputated that left front flipper in 2009 and successfully released her. And in 2013, we actually got to see Margarita nesting on our beaches here in Juneau Beach. So uh, we thank our friends down at Marathon Sea Turtle Hospital for all of their work and their rehab and, uh, you know, getting this turtle back healthy and contributing to the population. So Fern, she's one of our nesting loggerhead sea turtles. We saw her nesting on our beach last year and she had some identification tags that we didn't know where they came from. So they were mystery tags. 
So we reached out to some other scientists in the area that are also working on projects, looking at what these turtle moms are doing out there. And we actually heard back from our friends at Keewaden Island, which is on the Gulf Coast of Florida. So on the other side of the uh, state from us. And they originally tagged her back in 2007 and then she decided to uh, change it up and come back and nest on our beaches in 2019. So the leatherbacks are our first turtles to arrive on our beaches here. So they started coming in around March 1st um, and they're kind of entering into their peak season. And we can identify the leatherback tracks just sheerly based on size. So uh, when turtles crawl up onto the beach, just like you leave footprints in the sand, sea turtles will leave impressions in the sand. And because the leatherbacks are so large, we can easily identify those tracks in the sand. And the next species to come up are the loggerheads. They're a little bit smaller and we can identify their tracks based on the way they crawl. So they crawl with an alternating gait. So kind of like, you know, one flipper and then the other flipper. And so that makes it very easy for us to identify the loggerhead tracks. And then the last turtles, turtles to arrive are the green turtles. They haven't quite shown up on our beaches yet, but we expect them to arrive in the next month or so. And we can identify their tracks because they crawl in a different manner. So they actually use both flippers at the same time. And so they have parallel tracks in the sand, which distinguish them. So Loggerhead Marine Life Center is a nonprofit and we're fortunate enough to be located right off the beach of one of the most densely nested loggerhead sea turtle beaches in the world. And that means we have a great responsibility for protecting these nests that are out on our beaches. And so we would ask that if you have the ability uh, to consider donating to help us uh, continue protecting this important nesting habitat.